Hello guys, yes I am back again. Um, you guys are probably thinking, Brandon, where do you keep going to? But if you knew my life, honestly, it's it's been crazy. Like, I can't even concentrate on magic for the past month or so. But now, I'm back, and today, uh, it's not a trick. Uh, I'm going to show you, like you can probably see here, my everyday carry. So, this is what I carry on me every single day. And obviously, I'm going to go through absolutely everything. And if there's stuff you see and you like, I will leave um, the tricks where you can purchase them from. Okay, so they will be down in the description. So, yeah, let's jump in to my everyday carry. Okay, so let's jump in to the everyday carry. So, let's start off with what everybody has is a phone everybody has a phone but like you can see there's no phone in here because i'm currently recording this video off my iphone so these loads of tricks you can purchase uh, a perfect example by david penn overlay if you haven't seen that check it out it is crazy but there's loads of different apps like the card to phone app there's, honestly there's hundreds not what say hundreds but there's a, there's a lot out there and you can do the toxic force i've talked about on the channel already what you can do with your phone so the first thing i always carry with me is the phone and this phone case as well is pretty cool because you can actually open this up and i actually have a prediction card in this so you could do if you actually stuck this card in you could show that there's a follow-up card and then you could have one palm and uh switch it so there's loads of different things i haven't got this this is a prediction trick i do and let's say if i haven't got a pack of cards they think of a card and that card in my case so that is the uh the very first thing i always bring with me is my phone so the second thing let's remove this the second thing i always bring with me is a sharpie and there's not there's no pocket space at all to have this but a sharpie i always carry a sharpie with me because if i'm doing a my reading effect or if i am doing some kind of or any kind of trick what you need to sign something or to write on a business card a sharpie not much space at all and as well a packet of playing cards and if you are interested in this, this is the Expert at the Card Table card clip. Uh, do you know what? I bought this at Blackpool. I don't know what magic um, dealers will sell this. I'm sure they will, uh, but I may not find a link where you could purchase this. I picked up from Blackpool at a random stand and they're selling it for about five pounds. So yeah, I'll struggle finding the link for this, but I carry this so it keeps the cards um, or the box nice and safe. and it won't damage the box so this tr uh, this trick inside here i have well it is a normal deck of cards but there's two tricks uh i always do and you know what i'm going to show you one of them right now okay so let me show you guys uh, one of the tricks i always perform for the layman's and you know what guys this is super strong it really is. So uh, we get a car selected. So for example, let's say they choose the eight of spades and they will sign their name across it just like so. Hopefully you guys can see this, the eight of spades. And all the cards as well have a soft spot. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So if you take the Sharpie and all you do is find that soft spot right about here, you can see it actually goes straight through the card. I know it looks fake. It looks like CGI. The, the lid goes straight, the lid, sorry, the Sharpie goes straight through the card. But you'll see the moment the hole will vanish in three, two, one. Just goes like so. You turn the card over, they would be looking at the card and everything's examinable and they will be going crazy. Like you just put your Sharpie through their card. So that is uh, one of the effects I always do with the layman. Uh, it is, like I said, a normal, ordinary deck of playing cards. Uh, but this is called, obviously, Sharpie Through Card. Uh, you can purchase it from Alakazam Magic. 
uh, I will leave all the links where you can purchase them from, all the tricks. Uh, so if you're interested in this, this is Sharpie Food Card by Alakazam. Right, I just said you can purchase the Sharpie Food Card by Alakazam, but I didn't actually check the site. So uh, my apologies, <clears throat> I'm actually checking it right now. See if you can still purchase it. Uh, let's have a look. Sharpie Food Card, is it still in stock? We need to know because I don't want to say I'm leaving the link down below and it's not there. So, yes, it's still saying it's in stock. Brilliant. Yeah, I'll show you right now, uh, even though you can click the link. But it's here, guys. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it is still in stock. Sharpie Food Card by Alakazam. So up to now, guys, you know, at the moment, I carry a Sharpie and a pack of cards. <laughs> That's it up to now. So my wallet. So I don't know if you've seen my other uh, everyday carry because I think I probably filmed that some well, sometime last year. I know I did. Uh, but I have still got a few of them things in this wallet, but it's a completely different wallet. And this is what I use every single day. So I'm going to go through everything what I have in here and um, tell you where you can purchase it from. So let's get a little bit closer and let's look at the wallet. So this is the wallet, guys. And just to let you know, this is a normal, nah, it's not a trick wallet. This is a normal card carrier wallet. You can buy these from anywhere, uh, eBay, Amazon. You know what? I actually picked this up from the charity shop for about £1.50 and it Perfect for everything I need. So we're going to ignore the first three slots because that's the bank cards, my license. Uh, we're going to go at the top, and this is really, really good. I don't know if you've seen this before, guys, and I can't show you because my um, my phone is actually recording this at the moment. But it's actually called the Charge Card. It's a very nice made card. It's by Penguin Magic. I will leave the link down below where you can purchase it. And obviously there'll be a trail on there but basically the effect is you show your phone but it has no battery and then you put this onto your phone onto your phone and then you'll see the a green light appear you basically tell them that this has a, this has got charge in this card and as soon as you put uh, the, the card onto your phone a green light appears and then the light just goes down 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 and your phone charges up and the battery on your iphone you can see it charging up it's so cool uh, so yes i have charged card do that anytime anywhere i'll put that down there uh, you don't need to worry about this as a, a stack uh, for a certain trick uh, so i've always got that there so let's look at the stuff you will already know i did a video on this on my channel my last video card in sealed envelope I always carry that with me and that just pops into my wallet also this one as well I I had this trick in my last wallet on my last everyday carry it's called Bob uh, Bob King's rematch I think it's called yes Bob King's rematch and it's so good you know what I'm gonna show you a performance I can't perform it properly because I need my phone but you'll get the gist of it. So let's jump into a performance right now of Bob King's Rematched. Okay, so this is Bob King's Rematch. This is what I keep in the wallet. If you're a magician, it's not going to fool you, but for layman's, it's a bit of fun and you present it like a game show. So we say that we have five cards, well, five face down cards one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to leave five face up cards here as well. So this is the whole game. So you can see there's a king in, here in this packet and there is a king in this packet as well. But this is what's going to happen. Obviously as well, I have my phone here with a red buzzer on it, but the uh, phone is actually recording so I don't have a phone. Anyway, what's going to happen is I'm going to spell will the kings match, but at any time you can say switch. But they wouldn't say switch, they would press this, bu this buzzer, but I can't use my phone. <laughs> um, so here we go. So I'm going to spell will, but anytime you want, I will switch. So I go W, I, they will say switch. 
And you go L, they go switch. L, that's will. And they place the cards here. V, so they choose a packet. This packet here, they go uh, T, they go switch. H, E, the. Now kings. This is a K, switch. I, N, switch. G, S. Will the kings now match? M. Oh, let's say to say switch. A, T, switch. C, H, match. That is it. So if this king matches this king, you lose. But if one of these cards is a king, you win my phone and £20. So hopefully, fingers crossed, you win. So they take a look, they turn it over, and it's an ace of hearts. So obviously that is not a king. Is this a king? No, it's a three of clubs. Very close. Come on, you've got two more chances. Oh, the two of diamonds. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. I'm ever so sorry. You lose because over here is the Kings. I am the winner. So you don't keep my phone and you do not have £20. But you did a fantastic job because if you wave the Kings over, now you see they actually match every other card. And that is Bob King's rematch. So that is Bob King's rematched. And like I said, it's not a magician fooler, but for them lay people out there, it's great, it's fun. And you don't expect that kicker ending. So that stays in my wallet as well. So that is just the front part where I keep my bank card. So I have charge card, uh, Bob King's rematched, and the trick I taught on the channel already with the card in sealed envelope. If you haven't seen that, I will leave a link down below where you can learn it. So the other side, okay, the other side. Wow, 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 wow. What do you have here? So yes, I carry a big coin and a half dollar. So I do a one coin routine where you can do make the coin vanish and it appears and then you make it into a very big coin. Also, I have a folded up card in here as well. And this um, is like, it's called, uh, oh my days, I have forgot the name of the trick. Um, let me think, you know what? I will leave it here. Oh, the trick, what can't be explained. Uh, I use this card for that. If you haven't seen that, it seems impossible. I can't leave that because there's a lot of magicians who perform that. If you put it on YouTube, uh, Cartridge what can be explained, you will see a performance of that. Also, uh, I still carry this, the Magician's Insurance card. I always keep this with me. Uh, I explained this on the last EDC. Uh, you have a few gags on here, and you say, would you be impressed if uh, your card's on here? They'll go, no, or yes, you'll see it's your card. So it's a bit of a, uh, a funny little gag, but... Uh, you can even tell them to think of a playing card without no cards, and you'll know what card it is uh, using mathematical principles. But, yep, I always keep this with me, because um, it looks pretty cool as well. Anyway, let's carry on. So we've got the coins, we have the magician insurance card, the trick what can't be explained. Inside here, uh, we have, if I can get it out, Michael Murray. Show reel. If you haven't seen show, I can't perform show reel now because you need somebody here. But I carry this with me because oh, it's probably the best mentalism piece you will ever see. Uh, Lloyd Barnes actually performed it to his amazing girlfriend the other other week, and my mate purchased this and told me to get one, and that's what I did. Well, tell a lie. My friend gave me one, Mitchell Parker. So if you're watching this, thank you for a fantastic piece of magic and I still am keeping this because this is so strong this is called impossible and I can't pronounce it first name so I'm not even going to try uh, I do believe this is out of stock um, I don't think nobody's actually selling this anymore if I am wrong please let me know down in the comment section 
that uh, basically they will shuffle these cards and basically you match every card matches uh, it's like a color prediction uh, it, it it's so nice and it's not the the esp symbols or squares the triangles of the square the triangle the squares the wavy lines it using colors and it, it's just i just think it looks a lot better that's my opinion you might not agree so i keep this in here as well and you know what guys i think that is it so i can't uh, give you a link where you can purchase this trick from but i can uh, share a, a a link where you can watch performance because you need two people show real by michael murray that will be down in the description where you can purchase that fantastic piece of mentalism and it's not as hard as you think uh you can buy these from any magic shop really a jumbo coin and a half dollar i will find a link so you can purchase that if you wish this is just a fold up playing card for the uh, card trick what can't be explained the magician insurance card i will leave a link down below for that and Bob King's rematched, I will leave a link down below. Also, the charge card, I will leave a link down below for that. So that is the everyday carry I use every day. Okay, so that is the end of the video, guys. Yes, a little bit different, but it's good to be back. It's good to be back on YouTube and sharing what I carry with me every day. Yes, a few little things do change. I might take out uh, the Bob King's rematch and put Stand Up Monty in by uh, Garrett Thomas. Or Garrett Thomas, or Garrett, I'm sure it's something like Garrett Thomas. <laughs> Probably the best Monty out there. It's a uh, free card Monty. It's just mind-blowing. But yes, if you are interested in purchasing any tricks I've got in the wallet, like I said, everything should be down below. If I've missed it, I apologize. And that is it. Deck of cards, a Sharpie, and a wallet. That is all I take with me every day. So I'm going to call that a wrap. I'm going to call that the video done uh, because I now need to edit it and then make a thumbnail. <laughs> so you know what to do, guys. Please hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.